Hi there, I'm Annie from Speaking Schools Australasia. Welcome to our Speak to Inspire series, where every week we'll be sharing tips and tricks to help you perfect your public speaking. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel to catch all of our videos. This week's video is on how to prepare a speech. If there's one thing that public speaking could not exist without, it's speeches. Speeches let you share your ideas and opinions with an audience. So writing a logical and engaging speech is essential. Luckily, you can do this in five steps. Sometimes you don't get to choose the topic of your speech, but sometimes you do, and it can be hard to know where to start. So to get yourself thinking, ask yourself some questions like these. What do I like? What do I dislike? What do I care about? And what matters to me? Once you've answered those questions, it's on to step two. There are three main goals you might have for giving a speech. One, to inform your audience, tell them facts and information. Two, to persuade your audience or change the way they're thinking. Or three, to entertain your audience, <laughs> to make them laugh. Often, good speeches will focus on one of those goals or have a mix of all three. A bit of information, a bit of persuasion, and a bit of humor. Once you've worked out the goals for your speech, it's time for step three. In a speech, points is just another word for reasons why. So when you think about your topic, ask yourself what you like about it, what you dislike about it, what matters to you about it. And then in your points, give reasons why you think that. Also, remember the goals for your speech. Which of your points is the most informative? the most persuasive or the most entertaining. Whatever they are, always pick your three best points. And when you write them down, always use dot points rather than full sentences. On to step four. Although this might seem a little backwards, write your introduction and conclusion after you've written your points. Your intro and conclusion are the first and the last thing that your audience will hear you say. So they're easier to write once you know what's going to be in your speech. An introduction is all about getting your audience interested in your speech and starting your speech in an engaging way. On the other hand, a conclusion is all about leaving a good impression. How will you get your audience to remember your speech? What can you say that will stick in their minds? Once you've worked those things out, you have a speech, but we're not done yet. Practice makes perfect. The more you practice a speech, the better you'll get to know it and the more confident you'll look when you present it. When you practice your speech, Memorize the gist or the vibe of your speech, but not the words. And when you practice your speech, you can practice in front of a mirror or a camera or a family member, literally anywhere, just as long as you practice, practice, practice. And there you go, five steps for writing a complete, logical and engaging speech. If you liked listening to this video, press like and share it with your friends. Be sure to check out some of our other upcoming videos where we give more detail on each of these steps. Until then, I'll see you next time. <laughs>